Years ago, I was in Africa, actually particularly in Kenya, and we spent a day in Kibera slums. Kibera slums is one of the largest slums in Africa. And as we were entering into that, that area of, um, of Nairobi, the sense of fear came over me. We had to be escorted by um, two guards on each end of, um, of our team, and we couldn't, be wear, we couldn't wear watches, anything valuable, and we, we couldn't have any of that. So, and we were going to be visiting folks who um, were suffering, and they were hurting. And yet I was letting fear keep me from walking into that space. And so I, I had to take a moment and, and I had to offer a word of prayer and asking for God's strength and courage. And, and, and during that time, I heard, I heard the Lord say to me, Jamie, don't get lost in the fear. Don't get lost in the fear. In case you're not familiar with the story, in the biblical book of Joshua, God parts the waters of the Jordan for the people to cross. Now, in what seems to be a scene right out of an Indiana Jones movie, the priests can carry the Ark of the Covenant right into the unknown. And once their feet is felt in the cold waters of the Jordan, God begins to divide those waters. The promised land that they had wandered in the desert for 40 years to get to, the promised land was on the other side of the river, but the river was standing in their way. Many of us let, many of us let what is directly in front of us Keep us from where God is wanting us to be. So I want to encourage you today. Don't get lost in the fear. Ask yourself the question. What one step can I take today to move me in the right direction? And take that step. Because the promised land... The promised land is reached one step at a time. Hear these words from Joshua. To Joshua from God at the beginning of this adventure, be strong and courageous. I am with you. I want you to hear those words for you today. Don't get lost in the fear. Be strong and courageous for God is with you. That promised land is one step at a time. God bless you. Have a great remainder of the week. And I hope that you found inspiration in this message. If you did, I want to encourage you to share it with others. And if we can be of service to you, please reach out. God bless.